name's Don and I'm sitting here with Scott, uh, our, our senior property manager, um, in relation to some changes that New South Wales Fair Trading have recently met, uh, made. Uh, t uh, Scott, tell us about what that change is. Hi Don, thanks for having no, no, me. No worries, mate. Um, back on, I think it was the 18th of December 2022, rent, uh, New South Wales Fair Trading placed a ban on rental bidding. Uh, right. Fortunately for landlords and better for tenants, mm. this this happened. Right. So, so what is what is what is rental bidding? Rental bidding is whenever a agent or someone acting on behalf of the landlord um, tries to incite a higher price than the advertised rental price mm -hmm. from the potential tenant. Right. So uh, you know this is another example of the government. Know, favoring tenants over over landlords you know clearly it's um, and, and why have they done this why do you think they've tried to stop this rental bidding um, the reason why I think they've tried to stop this rental bidding and have done so through this legislation is that there are too many people competing competing for too fewer properties in certain demographics and socio-economic areas yeah. around Australia yeah. and they see this as the best way as leveling the playing fields for all. So so, uh, so, what type of activities are now kind of restricted um, in, yeah. in terms of the advertising itself? Yeah, so we are no longer allowed to advertise the property using such language as price on application, uh, contact agent for price, or providing price ranges. Um, so those, every uh, property that goes on a real estate and domain must have a price associated with it. Is that yes, right? that's correct. So in understanding that rental bidding has now been restricted, yeah. right? uh, and we used to, all, you know, obviously all, always try to drive the price up for the landlords. You know, um, yeah. you know, what can be done now to try to attract tenants, or or what can we do to try to maximize the rent that a tenant receives? Say, if, say for instance we're in a situation and there's three or four different people who are submitting applications, what can and what can we not do? Um, when we have multiple applications for a property, mm -hmm. uh, we cannot disclose each, uh, each offers, well, each applicant's offer of their rental price that they're willing so to... So we can't say the other person offered you know, 2200. Yeah, okay. that's correct. We can't do anything to elicit higher rental prices other than what is advertised as. Mm -hmm. So, so, and then what, and if we do do that, what are the penalties? Uh, the penalties are actually quite severe, Don. Um, for a corporation, it's $11,000, and an individual, it's 5,500. So, so 5,000, up to 5,500 for every case. Yeah, for every, right. for every time New South Wales Fair Trading or their regulatory body uh, find you in breach of that, they will issue these fines. So where, where can we people find out more information about this? People can find out more information on rental bidding through New South Wales Fair Trading's website as well as a blog post I've written, which sure. will be available on Property Provider's website. Yeah, sure. So. The other thing I'd say is that we're gonna be, we'll be seeking advice on this, uh, this rental bidding. You know, obviously a lot of the properties that we manage are unique. Yeah, um, just so uh, we are going through that process right now, getting some advice because most, a lot of the properties that we manage are furnished and it's not so much a, um, uh, a standard, you know, 12 month, lease on a, on, a, on a two bedroom apartment if that makes sense so we'll be providing we can provide owners advice on a case-by-case -case basis but but generally speaking yes. we're not able to go offers from no. POA yeah your cookie cutter properties that you see everywhere online yeah most of the time 99% of the time are unfurnished they're not providing any utilities, whether it be electricity, gas or internet, mm -hmm. um, whereas we are in some cases mm -hmm. because of the properties and clientele we are looking after. Mm -hmm. So therefore we are in a bit of a different position to negotiate based on these provisions. So, so really the best, the best 
strategy now is to price the property competitively. Hope, hope that lots of people attend the open for inspections and you're creating an obviously competitive market and that we say to tenants, submit the price that you feel the property is worth. Correct? Yes, that's, yeah. that that, that, those, are the, that, those are the actual words that we have to use. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. thanks so much, Scott. That, that clears it up. I think that, you know, for years we've been driving the price up by, you know, through a number of tactics. We're, we're now, I don't want to use the word handcuffed, but we're, we're, we're boxed in, um, but rest assured, you know, certainly we want to be getting the best money for our owners, right? So, yeah, most definitely. I know um, we will be. Yeah, thanks. No worries, thanks for having us. Bye.